that feature. It's like that mighty piece. Welcome to Bobby Bufford Field in Lincoln, Georgia. I'm Doug Newman and the rest of the broadcast crew. We're sitting here ready to get started with the 2023 season with our opener against Bryan County, which is coached by former Red Devil, Sherrard Freeman. I think he graduated from here back in about 95? 96. 96, all right. Uh, it's time to kick off the 2023 football season. Get ready for Friday night. Lights here. <coughs> Officially, this game's going to kick off in about two and a half minutes. The season will start. Everybody is upbeat. Got high hopes and prospects for this season. Uh, I was looking today at, at, at some polls, and uh, a state poll is showing the Lincoln County class single A Division II was ranked number four, and they had a consolidated poll of six, from six different sources, one of them being the Atlanta Journal, one of them Georgia Public Broadcast and Max Preps and about three others, and that one had us ranked number seven. And, and the thing there is, no, no shock or anything to anybody else. The top two rated in, in our division is Sheely and and uh, Bow Bowden. Uh, so and Bowden won the state last year, and, and Sheely was they they played for the state last year, didn't they? Because Bowden knocked us out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. That it could be come down to another matchup with all three of us still in the hunt uh, come, come December next year. <laughs> but I appreciate you guys being up here. It sure makes things a lot simpler. I can just kind of be like in the old days, a Howard Cosell just walk in and do my gig. And... All right, Bryan County getting set to kick off. They will be kicking with their back to the gym, kicking to Lincoln County with our backs to Lillian Sims. And this game this season is underway with a high kick to the far side. Field it on the 10-yard line. He's out to the 20 to 25. That's where they're going to bring him down. And who was on the big run by Kelby Glaze on the kickoff return as he gets to the 25. Be first to 10. Lincoln County Red Devils if we start the 2023 season. 11.44 left to go. Here in the first, nothing, nothing as we're just getting started. I want to thank again all our sponsors this year, especially Fast Times Convenience Store. We've got a new sponsor, City Tire. We want to thank all of them. And here comes the Red Devils. This year going to be led by number by number two, Makai Wade at quarterback. But he's got plenty of weapons behind him. They're going to run the ball first play, low cost, but going to come out number number four, Samaj Jenkins, who is a senior this year. Looking to have a big breakout this year as he's ranked at one of the Sweet 16 CSRA players this year as we coming out of the gate. A little pick up there of about three yards. Going to be second and seven here <coughs> kickoff game here in Lincolnton. As we are at, at Buddy Buffett Field, Larry Campbell Stadium on a hot night here in Lincoln. Nice, cool Georgia day. <laughs> Lane County Red Devils come out tight set this time. Quarterback under center. Got a man in motion, and he's going to hand it off. And here comes number eight, Kevin Glaze. Big hit by Brian County then. Going to ring your bell a little bit. And I think he may have lost a yard, lost a half a yard. It'll be third and seven and a half. So third and long here. These are the difficult situations, but especially this early in the season. <laughs> And Byron County running that 3-4, getting a big push up front. Makai Wade under center, got one wide receiver out to the right. Got a man in motion. He's going to roll out. He's looking. Got a little screen play, number three, Christian Elam. And he got a big first down as he gets about the 42-yard line, first and 10, Lincoln County. Good play there as the defense was rushing hard. Makai Wade stood strong and hit Christian Elam on the slide for a screen play and a good pickup of uh, looks to be about 10 yards. Great throw under pressure. He had a defender right in his face, threw it perfect right in the hands of that running back on that screen play. A great job by Makai. So first and 10 ball on the 44. 
Makai under center, two wide receivers out to the left. He's going to hand it straight up to good, and they hit a Bryan County brick wall as he's taken backwards. Maybe a gain of one. It's Christian Elam again. That time, that's two plays in a row. He's got his hands on the ball. He's kind of playing that fullback position. And they're going to place the ball just on the 45. We're going to make it second and nine. As Lincoln County, as you saw in the paper last week, everybody touched the ball for the Red Devils on a 35 to nothing shellacking of Cross Creek out of Augusta. McKay Wade under center, two wide receivers out to the left. Gonna do a little pass again, number four. Here comes Amaya Jenkins. Oh, he's still on his feet. Is he gonna get a first and he's still in bounds as he pushed out of bounds about the 43, first and 10, Lincoln County, as we get on to the Bryan County side of the field. That's one of those plays like they say the sleep the uh the um Slick hog, man. They just couldn't get the hands hard, hard enough around him to bring him down. He broke about six tackles on that play. Great job, Samaj. Still in the first quarter, nothing, nothing. 8.40 left to go. Lincoln County moving. First and 10, ball on the 43. So two pass plays early. That's nice to see. McKay Wade under center. He's going to hand it off again. Straight up the gut. Number three, Elam. He's going to get about one and nothing else. Well, uh, let's call it one and a half, maybe two. We'll be, maybe let's make second and eight. That's the clock at 8.15 and rolling. We're going to place the ball right on the 40-yard line. Got some players coming in. Looks like 13. They're checking in. Christian, Christian Kreit checking in. And what the hands on Christian Kreit. Wide receivers out to the right. Quarterback under center. Got a man in motion. Going to pitch it off. Here comes the Miles Jenkins around the side to the 40. And they're going to take him down hard around the 39. So short game there for the Miles. It's going to bring up third and long. Third and eight. They gave him about half a yard on the play. And early what we're seeing, Brian Kelly doing a really good job tackling. Uh, we have had two pass plays get some pretty big yards, but the running plays, Brian Kelly doing a really good job of wrapping up and bringing down that we have not had a lot of yards after contact so far. So ball just on the 39, third and seven, they're going to say he gained a yard. Lincoln County in there tight, foot to foot, hoof to hoof. Two wide receivers out to the left. Quick pass out, here comes Samaj, had to jump up for it. And he's tackled, game tackled by Brian County. If he could have caught it on the stride there, he might have been all right. He had to jump up and get it there. It's a little high from Makai Wade. Going to bring up fourth down, ball on the 36. I think we're going to go well. It looks like they're going to switch out the whole. Maybe we are going to pull it away. I thought maybe this would be a place you would go for it on the field. We'll see. I see number zero checking in, Andrew Beard. Uh, for the folks listening at home, he is a touted freshman. Ninth grade, he's gonna be. He's the son of Jerry Beard. Used to be a Red Devil. Went to Appalachian State, and we're gonna be punt. Slow punt back. Good high kick. Get out of bounds. And it's gonna take a Lincoln County bounce as it goes out of bounds around the 10 yard line. Be, uh, they're gonna call it 12. So first and 10, Bryan County ball on the 12. We're going to take a break and come back to you, Lincoln County Broadcast Network. I just usually do a blackout and put like two on you know, TV drive. or a thumb, Bruh. just so you know. Really hey, uh, what he does on defense here, they go under center. Brian County hands it off across the right yeah. side. Oh, goodness, he breaks it back out left. And Andrew Beard's running down. There he is, already calling his name, and he brings him down after about a 35-yard game. Uh, Lincoln County had it stopped up on the right side, and he kind of backed up and cut back left, and uh, nobody there but Andrew Beard ran him down from behind and was able to bring him down hard, big tackle after a 35-yard game ball at the 44-yard line. And big blocking that time by Brian County. As we're looking for number 55. Trey Turner is going to anchor that defensive line down there for the Red Devils as they give up a big play to start us off. And again, some of those names from last year, R.J. Kreit, Chris Kreit, some of those really strong defenders still back on this defense this year. We should have a really stout defense. 
So Brian County goes under center, takes the snap, hands it off, going across the right guard. He cuts it back inside. Big hit right up the middle. And again, number zero, Andrew Beard again brings him down with another uh, big hit. And uh, about two, three other red jerseys there to help bring him down. It's going to be a pickup of three yards. They cross the, about the 47-yard line. It's going to be second down and seven to go. So two big plays for Brian County as it's second and seven. Lincoln County's got to find the answer. Brian County goes under center, takes the snap, hands it off to the fullback right at the middle. They stop it, right. and he's still shaking, and there we go. We wrap him up in the backfield. It's a host of Red Devils, wow. and it's going to be a loss of about a yard on the play. It's going to make a third and long, third and eight ball placed down at the 46-yard line. Finally, Beard and Christian Elam clean it up a little bit as he just would not go down. Yep. 428 left to go here in the first. Still nothing, nothing is Ross almost at midfield with Bryan County. And Bryan County basically running the exact same offense as Lincoln County. They haven't uh, taken anybody out wide. That's one of the differences. They kind of got everybody in tight, but a lot of motion in the backfield. This time they have one wide receiver out right, but they have the same wing offense that we run. Quarterback goes in the center, takes the snap. It's going to cut crap back across the left side. And it's wrapped up, and he ain't going to get it. He's going to pick up three yards. And it's going to make it about a five, fourth and five here. Ball on the 49-yard line. Let's see what Brian Kelly chooses to do on this fourth down and five. I didn't get a number on that tackle. It was on the opposite side of the field. I don't know if you saw that uh, word. I couldn't see it on that side. It ain't because of the windows we didn't see. <laughs> but you got it. It looks like they are going to punt. And we got Samaj Jenkins and Andrew Beard going back for the Red Devils. They're going to nestle around the 20 yard line as they get ready for this punt from Bryan County. Kicking towards Lillian Sims. 325. Let's go here in the first. Still nothing, nothing. Second opportunity for the Red Devils. I watch for a fake here. Yep. Snap there. Kick is away. Good kick to the right side of the field. Andrew Beard over there, but he clears and lets the ball bounce. It ball rolls down to the 10 yard line. It rolls dead there. That's where Lincoln County will take over on their own 10 yard line. So good Talk about what this team's going to be able to do. So Lincoln County lines up again, tight in there. Two wide receivers to the right. Big pass. They're going to be offsides by number seven. It looked like to me Aiden Deutschel. Deutschel. I think he started a little bit too soon. And yeah. They will. And, but again, that you look at that play, although it was blown dead, it was going to be another completion. And that'd, that'd be four for four to start the game in the first quarter. I mean, that's that's a good number to start with when you're passing. So that moves out the first and 15, moves us back inside the five. Ball on the five. Quarterback under center. They're going to run it out. Trying to make a hole and not going to make it. Bryan County gang tackles into the end zone. Forward progress. Was it a bad pitch? I, I, from here, it almost looked like the pitch was a little low, um, which slowed down the running back. I, I, I couldn't see from my angle, but it looked like the running back maybe had to bend down a little bit to catch the pitch. Christian Elam for no gain. I think he lost about a yard. Yeah, get a little close to that goal line now. Sure is. Inside the five-yard line on second down. So second and 16, 204 left to go here in the first. Still nothing, nothing. Is Lincoln County's got their backs to the wall right now. Quarterback under center. Two wide receivers out to the right. And we're going to try to run our way out. Oh, yes, Makai. It's Makai Wade, and they're going to try to drag him down. He still looks like a pinball machine out there as he gets to about the, oh, let's call it seven yard line, looks like, maybe six, maybe a game of one. He sure did a lot of moving for just one yard. The clock continues to run, 134 left to go here in the first, still nothing, nothing. Yeah, it looked like he might break free from that tackle uh, for a moment there and get a few more yards, but they did a good job of holding on to him because he's a slippery, slippery runner as well. There you go. Pick up three yards, gonna make it third and 13. Makai, again, under center. And he's gonna run out, he's rolling out, he's looking, he's got him a man, number four, Samaj Jenkins. Not gonna be enough for the first down. He's gonna be short 
Well, they gained them about four or five, and it's going to be fourth and nine for the Red Devils. So again, yeah, Makai like showed him there that his accuracy is just old. I mean, he's he's hitting his players another completion. A great catch by Samaj Jenkins. See, they're only here in static. Only here in static? Mm-hmm. Is it I in it? What you think? Let me see if that'll help. Oh. Alfonso, how about now? Uh, punts away, okay. and it's going to hit at the 45 yard line, and they're going to turn around again. And he breaks out left. Oh. That was a little bit of good tackle by number one that time, Justin Simmons, after a pickup of about 10 on the return. County comes out on offense. Quarterback goes under center. Takes the snap, going to pitch it out to the left side. He's running across the left side of the line. Good penetration that time by number 13, Christian Crichton. Hits him in the backfield, brings him falling forward. I think it's going. they're going to give him a gain of one on the kid, but uh, hit right out the line of scrimmage that time. Just fell forward for one yard. Take us to the and that will take us to the end of the first quarter. Zero, zero. I mean, we're not even getting a good reception of his stuff. Mm -hmm. on your phone right now. You want to hook it and just do it straight on your phone. Okay. Mm -hmm. we can try to do it again when there's a break. We can hook it back up if you want to call this real quick. Uh, number 54, half distance. 
Left to go here in the second quarter. Bryan County has struck first. Six nothing as Bryan County takes the kick X point. They just scored on a two yard quarterback sneak as they moved down the field on the Red Devils. Bryan County getting set. Play clock is stopped at one. Play clock is stopped at one. See what the holdup is. Referees have stopped for just a few minutes. Fixed the kick extra point number 33 for Bryan County. He's set, waiting on the hype. Ball is hype. Ball is set. And no good as it crawls under the uprights. So Lake County down 6 0. 856 left to go here in the second quarter. If it messes up again. And welcome back, Red Dog fans. I think we've Hopefully got everything worked out here as we've uh, got rid of the static. We apologize for that, but first game, first, first game, game problem. First game problem. <laughs> 8.56 left to go here in the second quarter. Bryan County kicking back off to the Red Devils as Bryan County has just scored. Missed, missed the extra point. Make it 6 nothing. Bryan County as they kick off to the Red Devils. Ooh, high Good kick gracious. towards the gym, and it's going to go out of bounds. Be a flag on the play, and we'll take it over at the 35. And that's a shame because what a, what a kick. Very high, very deep kick. Went out of bounds about the four-yard line. Mm -hmm. All he had to do, yeah, and he didn't even look like he was trying to kick it. That was a very impressive very <laughs> kick off for what looked like it wasn't going to be that deep. Um, but, yeah, listen, um, if uh, if we have any more issues with the static, please let us know if you could reach out to us on uh telephones or Facebook, whatever, because uh, we're not sure what just happened, but we hope it doesn't happen again. <laughs> and if, if that does become a problem, please let us know, because we can't hear what you hear. Uh, everything we hear sounds very clear. So first and 10 for Lincoln County, starting off on the 35. Again, Makai Wade going to be under center. Tight set by the Red Devils. One wide receiver got a man in motion. Here comes Kelby Glaze. Number eight. Gain of about a yard. I tell you, that Bryan County defense is stout. Yeah, they're playing good. Second, second and nine, they lights out uh, on that f defensive front. And that's what I was going to say, the front. That's, what, uh, that's what's playing so well right now. They are not getting moved at all. But you can see, I mean, they got some size, but, but we do as well. So, I mean, you know, it looks like it could be a good matchup down there. But so far, Bryan County definitely winning the line of scrimmage. Sherrard got them playing that 3-4 defense, and them linebackers have got the ears pinned back, and they're coming in for us. Again, Lincoln County. Second and nine, Makai Wade under center. He's going to hand it off. A little crazy there you go. Look, here comes Samaj Jenkins doing the footwork. And he's going to have a first down. Ball on the 45, first and 10, Lincoln County. As he took a little hot, hard shot there as he got up a little woozy. Ball right on the 45. Very patient run that time by Samaj on uh, that that misdirection handoff is a little bit of a slow developing play. So if you don't have a running back that can look and, and, and run with patience, with vision, that's a hard play. But Samaj doing a really good job of waiting on a hole to open up. So first and 10, ball on the 45, zero, six to zero here in Lincoln and with Bryan County on top. They're going to hand off again. Right oh. up the middle, Christian Elam. He's still on his feet, rumbling and stumbling all the way down to the 35. They've been looking for it all night. They're a hole straight at the gut. And he found it. 
and he's all the way down to the 36-yard line. Big first down for Lincoln County. Ball on the 36, 746. Left to go here in a second. Six nothing. Bryan County on top. Lincoln County's moving as we're going towards Lillian Sims. And if he could have kept his foot in late and he would have scored. He barely <laughs> fell over there at the end uh, as he was stumbling a little bit trying to catch his catch his forward motion. So first and ten again, Lakey County got the offensive line in there tight. Makai Wade in the center. Got a man in motion. Here comes Andrew Beard with the ball. First carry of the night as he's going to get down to around the 35-yard line. May have lost a yard there or made it back to the line of scrimmage, but nothing going there for the Red Devils. It's going to be second and ten. He had two men out there on the left side just waiting on him. Uh, he, he made them pay a little bit. He definitely wasn't afraid of the contact, but wasn't able to split those two defenders and get through. We're not getting no separation on the line. We just got to get some blocks in there and, and make some holes for these guys. We got the athletes. So ball on 36, second and 10, 707 left to go here in the second. Six nothing, Bryan County on top. Again, Wade's under center. He's going to quick pitch out. Number 13, Christian Elam. Good tackle there. Almost. He's still on his feet. You see a speed right there. Oh, wow. big speed. He's all the way down to around the 19-yard line. He got stuck. Just as soon as he got, caught the ball, he brushes that guy off, and he's all the way down to around the 15, it's going to be the 18-yard line. I really like the, the play they just drew up there. They, they faked the pass to the right side, had a man come back underneath on the left side, and he turned and hit him immediately. And again, you just you see the accuracy by Makai. He hadn't missed a player yet. Seven for seven. So seven far. for seven. He had two guys right in his grill as he Absolutely. turned around to pass that ball. Yeah, he's been throwing it under pressure all night, but hitting his man, that's the key. Kane checks in over there running back. He's going to pitch it again. Here comes Samaj Jenkins. He did a spin move there, and he's still on the ball as he gets down to the point. the play. And a flag on the I play. I think they're off sides. There ain't no way they hit the quarterback that fast unless they was off sides because I'm telling you, before the ball got to Makai, the defender was there. He pitched it, and he I don't know how he got it away. And he had a good pitch. Let's see what the flag is. Holding by the red devils. Wow. We didn't hold good enough. I mean, I'm telling you, man, I don't even know how the defender could get there that fast. So that moves us there. It's going to move us back after some good gains. Nothing hurts you like a holding penalty as we're all the way back to around the 28-yard line. But at least it was first down. If you're going to have a 10-yard penalty, you want it on first down where you can try to get some of those yards back. It looks like they're going to place the ball right around the 28-yard line. So first and 20. And I'm going to say again, man, number 13, Christian Craig on that pass play. Man, you saw his speed big time uh, on that play. Wow, was he fast. Wade under center, two out to the left. Going towards Lillian Sims. Here comes Wade again. He and he's going to be sacked. What is going on in the offensive line? We have no time at all to get rid of the ball. As as soon as he had it in his hand, he was on the ground. As the clock now down under six minutes left to go in the second. Six nothing, Bryan County. And we're moving on back instead of moving on up. I mean, I'm telling you, they are hitting the quarterback as soon as the ball is in his hands. So ball on the, looks like the 33-yard line. We are a long way from getting the first down. We got 25 yards to go. Goodness gracious, well, we can't get it all at one time, I don't think. 524 left to go here in the second. Six nothing, Lincoln County down. And they're going to fake the handoff. Here comes Beard. His head is going to pass. Finally, he's going to try to get head number eight in his way. He's finally moving. As he made some moves there and got down to around the 25-yard line. If Glaze hadn't gotten his way there just for a second, he might have broke it to the promised land as we're now down under five minutes. Going to be third is still a long way to go for the Red Devils. Probably about third and 16. Yeah, that was, you saw some good moves by Andrew Beard that time, and it did. It looked like he was going to break it any second. Ball down on the 26-yard line. We're going to call it third and 18. 
Lincoln County comes up to the line. Three wide receivers at this time. Makai Wade goes back. He's looking. He's looking. Oh, oh, oh there, there, there we go. There we go. They, they held number 13 as they knew he was the go-to man. Christian Crock got held. And they were holding him down. I mean, like they're trying to give him medicine or something. 422 left to go here in the second quarter. 6 nothing. Lincoln County on top. I mean, excuse me, Bryan County on top. Yeah, they, they tackled him that time. And that's the only way they can get McCaw from making a completion. <laughs> See what they're doing. That should be an automatic first down. But I, I do know if it's a hold versus a pass interference, it's only a 10-yard penalty. Well, they hadn't showed no signs yet. They fixed to mark it off. They're going to place the ball right at the 16-yard line. They just called it a hold instead of a pass interference. So they're calling it a hold. And so it's not going to be a first down. That helps us a little bit, though. That shortens. Big time. Big time. Yeah, it's like somebody's taking a timeout. But... And welcome back, Red Devil fans, as we try to, on third down, do a little screen play. Does not work. I tell you what, that Bryan County defense is something else. Yeah, they swatted down with a lot of scrimmage. They tried to run the same fake back to Andrew Beard. A little screen pass over the left side to fake them out. And uh, yeah. the, the, the defensive end there just to swat the ball down. And it looked like 73 is the one that batted it down. Big nose guard there. For a field goal here. So they're going to bring in Crawford to try the 32-yard field goal. And they're going to take a timeout and think about it a little bit more. Pick it up. Like I said, a lot of these guys are probably nervous. Um, you know, there's still some assignment stuff you're working through. Again, they're young. Um, but so far, I mean, you got to give props to the defensive front for Brian County because they're playing a heck of a game. So after the timeout, Lincoln County comes out. They're still going for the field goal. Number seven is going to be holding for Abraham Crawford. And as they get set up, ball is hiked, kick is up, and it's, it's in there. So Abraham Crawford puts Lincoln County on the board to make it 6-3, to three, Bryan County on top. But what a leg. We played a scrimmage last week, um, but, but I do think we're going to see a, a little bit of a, a better second half tonight. I'm believing that. And that was, excuse me on that, that was Forts and Partridge with that. Field goal. I'm sorry. Oh yeah. I, I, thought, I thought Abraham. I was looking for the long yeah. hair and never saw it. All right, there's the kickoff. Oh, catches it and falls down at the 10 yard line. That ain't good. And he's hurt. He's hurt. He's hurt. The return man is down. He is looking like he is in some serious pain. He, he ran into his own teammate. At fast times convenience store. And uh, running back is going to run across the left side of the line that time. And he's going to pick up a good gain, about seven yards on the play. He's going to cross the 20-yard line, maybe to the 21. It's going to be second down and three to go. And Mr. Doug wanted me to add something, too. Thank you for the bowl of peanuts. <laughs> Thank you, Jenna. I want to Thanks, give a Jenna. shout out. Well, I'll do it after this play. Here they go. They just broke huddle. Quarterback goes under center. Everybody in tight. Nobody out wide. Quarterback goes under center, man goes in motion from right to left, takes the handoff, hands it to his fullback right up the middle. Good oh, oh, big hit right up the middle. Looks like it was Trey Turner and number 13, Christian Kreit, on the hit. And it's going to be a pickup of one, but he's not going to get the first down. It's going to make it third and two. And it looks like, it looks like a timeout, Lincoln County. I think we're going to try to get the ball back here, boys. This, this first half is taking forever, so 2.57 left to go here in the second. Lincoln County's down 6-3. to three. Short for Bryan County, third and two. And so here we go. Bryan County goes under center again. This time they have one man out wide left, one wide out left. Samaj out in defense on him. Quarterback goes under center, takes the snap. He's going to hand it to his running back. Go try to go. I think it's a fumble. And Lincoln County recovers it. Yeah, 
loses it. Dorsal, number seven, looked like he picked it up. Somebody picked it up. Big play there by Trey Turner. Turner. I think Trey Turner, Turner, Turner reached in there and got it. He wasn't going to get the first down anyway. Big hit uh, in the backfield, and he fumbles. And Lincoln County, the best possible scenario, takes over uh, the fumble inside the 20-yard line with two minutes and 49 seconds left to go in the first half. So right here, the night we go. Well, Lincoln County lines up there in a tight set, moving some pieces around. Number six, Kreitz in there. Fumble! Fumble! Oh, goodness. Makai Wade fumbled the snap. That's going to back us up a little bit. And we're going to lose about, oh, let's call it seven, eight yards off the rip. We're way back there. Going to bring up second down and long. And Lincoln County calls their final timeout of the end of second. Down six to three to them Indians from Bryan County down in Pembroke, Georgia. Lincoln County's going to line up. We've got Christian Elam behind him. Mikhail Wade's going to roll out. He's looking, got a man right down the middle. Christian's trying to fight his way as he caught the ball right about the 15, 16 yard line. So good, good pickup there. He's going to bring about third and 11. Another good pass by Makai, another good hands moment by Christian Crate. You know, you was wondering how much you were going to, you know, miss meatball Franklin Brown out there because, man, he was about as sure-handed a receiver as we've had in a long time. And uh, Christian Crite picking up right where he left off. So Brian Candy is going to try to save a little time as it's third and long inbound as they won the state championship uh, after two more games. But uh, just a great season last year and hoping to continue uh, that board this year. And Lincoln County comes out third and 11, ball on the 17. Again, down six to three to Bryan County. Makai Wade's going to roll out. He's rolling out, bootleg. He's looking, he's looking. He may try to take it his second. Yeah, he goes. back inside. Great move by Makai Wade, but he's going to be taken down hard at the 10 yard line. So a bootleg there by Wade as he takes it himself, and he's going to be right at the 11. Trying to find a little magic here. Six to three, Bryan County on top. 2.15 left to go. Fourth down, fourth and five for the Red Devils as we're trying to go towards Lillian Sims and get a first down. Quarterback's going to roll out. He's looking. He's got him a man. Oh, he missed oh, He just hit, dropped it. Incomplete pass there by Makai Wade. It wasn't his fault. It was on the money as number 13, Christian Kreit, missed it. That's... Goes under center. I'm sure they're just going to be satisfied to go to the half up three. Probably not going to do anything too tricky here. Quarterback takes a snap, hands off to that big fullback. Oh, he's got a big hole. Finds another hole. He's going to pick up about 10 on the play. Uh, he's brought down by an Andrew Beer again, number zero, that highly, highly touted freshman. But it's going to be a first down. And ball's going to be placed right in the weight. They haven't placed it yet on the 22-yard line. Minute 56 left to go in the first half. Again, Bryan County up on Lincoln County, 6-3. to three. Quarterback goes in the center, tight formation. Nobody out wide, taking his time. Quarterback takes the snap, hands it off to his big running back again. He's just fighting forward, fighting forward. They're going to bring him down after a pickup of about six on the play. Second down and four, ball on the 26-yard line. And his offensive line is getting a good push on the defensive oh, yeah. line. Probably about maybe a yard, yard and a half as they continue to move the ball. But, I mean, their offensive line is pushing us around down there. They're actually going to say five yards on the pickup. Second down, five to go. Quarterback goes under center, takes a snap, hands it off to his left. Oh, that was a big hit. Who was that? Was that? I can't see uh, it. 13. Christian Kreit. Christian Kreit. Having a huge night tonight. Oh, he's, he's slow to get up, too. He felt that one. Big hit by Christian Kreit. So timeout. Did they call a timeout? Yeah, they called a timeout. Or they, they signaled stop the clock. Third down, third and five for the... Brian for the Brian. Indians. They go under center, take the snap, they have it off, going across the oh! <laughs> Christian Kreit again, that was the biggest hit of the night. Oh my goodness. He looked like one of them. That running back is big and he's holding his arm. He's hurting. He he's like, a big running back. He looked like one of them crash test dummies. When he got hit, he oh. like slow motion. He just 
I mean, I got whiplash up here just thinking about yeah, it. Golly. And I'll tell you what that is. That's one of that's one of those momentum changing um, momentum changing plays on defense right there. I mean, I, that that pumped up everybody on the field. I can guarantee you, he's going to think twice before taking that ball back up in there. <laughs> As we're running down out of time here, 32 seconds left to go in the second quarter, and uh, Sherrod's going to call him over. I think he's going to let it run down a little bit, and he's going to take the delay. Yeah, that's back-to-back -back big hits for Christian Kreit, which I will tell you, if you don't know, he's just an 11th grader. Oh, man. So he's still got another year to play. So a delay a game against Brian Cannon, at least 21 seconds on the clock, and we're down 6-3. to three. So they're going to move it back five yards, and I, and I guess Gerard and the Indians are going to kick it off to us. And please stay tuned for our... Ben Belangie halftime show. He's going to give you all the stats, some you don't, some you won't, some you don't. As we're going to get down on these chicken wings and pizza from Fast Times Convenience Store. Another thing you don't think about, let me tell you something. If you want a good cup of coffee in the morning, go to Fast Times. The coffee is so popular, you, it's hard sometimes about 8 o'clock in the morning to get to the coffee pot. Yeah, I mean, there's a crowd there. People love the coffee. That might be what was going on with the radio. Yeah, that we unplugged it. Let's see if it messes up the radio, because that's what I did. Okay, if it does, that's fine. Yeah. So it's going to hold us up. 21 seconds left to go here in the second quarter. Brian Kenny. Man, we just cannot seem to get to halftime. And... I'm telling you, it's in my last two minutes. Something went on with the clock, they said. I'm as, that's the one bad thing here. It's Brian County set, 21 seconds left. They're going to punt it off. Whip for the ah, high punt. Was, and it's going to bounce out of bounds around the, I don't know, 50 yard line, maybe. Got a flag on the play. No, they didn't throw a flag. I thought they, should, they probably should have thrown a flag. <laughs> they busted the punter. I don't know how they must have. He was looking right at it. He didn't miss it. I don't know, but anyway. Yeah. That was us, Christian Crotty again. <laughs> so Lincoln County's going to take over. 12 seconds left to go here in the first. Again, 6 to 3, Bryan County on top. Lincoln County will take over first and 10 ball on the 49. As we're just kind of down from the Lincoln County. Yeah, I'll throw it. Diamond. Let him rip it. Probably enough time for one more play. As Lincoln County's taking their time. And Lincoln County comes back out. And they, they, they're rushing now towards the ball. So here he goes. Wade under center. He's going to go out. He's rolling out. He's looking. He's going to throw it up. Number 13 is down there around the 20. Oh. And intercepted by Brian That's Kennedy. A good interception. It was a good interception. Right there by the 14-yard line. It's a long throw by Mikhail Wade. And it's intercepted by the Indians. Yeah, I mean, hey, I, I, that was just a good play by the defender. He threw it up. Christian was there to jump up with him. The defender just came down with it. And he was covered up by two Indians. Doing double coverage. Uh, yeah, as he as as uh, Crike jumped up, I mean, he's got the he's got the height, he's got everything else, but it was two defenders, and he just could not overcome that. That would have probably been a good time to use him as a decoy. Yep. Um, so balls placed at the. 14-yard line, first and 10 for the Indians. And they're going to come in tight, most likely here, they're going to take a knee. And they will take a knee, and that will end the first half of football here in Lincoln. Again, Lincoln County 3, Bryan County 6. Stay tuned for the tailgate halftime show it was into you about fast time in his hands and give him some space. So Lincoln County gets ready as uh, Mr. Partridge out there, number 33, Fortson Partridge. Gonna plant the ball for the Red Devils. He's gonna get ready to kick off to the Indians. 
what are we doing here? Are we kicking off the other way? I think they lined us up on the wrong side of the field. So, so we're I think we have to flip sides with yep. the. So we're going to have our backs to the gym as, uh, as the Indians will be going towards the gym to score, and we're going to be trying to keep them as we're going towards Lillian Sims to kick off the game, kick off the third quarter. Again, we want to thank all our sponsors this year. 2023, Doug's 40th year of broadcasting. Congratulations again to Doug, and we just want to thank him for putting this crew together and keeping the, keeping, keeping the broadcast alive through those years. And here we go. Lincoln County kicks off. Good kickoff. Low line by Mr. Parcher. He's going to be taken around the 20-yard line. They get up quick. There's a hole there, and he got stuck right around the 40-yard line. Looks like number four, Samaj Jenkins, with the tackle. Good pickup there by Bryan County. They're going to start first and 10. Ball on the 40. Yeah, I think we're seeing a pretty even match team as far as the style, the type of player. They have athletes. They have uh, some guys that can run that. Uh, that running back they got is big and fast. That was him on the return right there. Good vision. So they come out on offense, go, out, go under center, nobody out wide. Again, tight formation. Quarterback takes a snap, hands it off to his running back, tries to run right up the middle, nowhere to go really. I think that was 57, number 57 on the tackle, Jeremiah Wynn. It's going to be a pickup. They're going to give him about two and a half or three yards on the carry. It's going to move the ball up to the 43-yard line. <coughs> and they just need a little push. They got three backs in the backfield there. And Bryan County just needs a little push up front. They're going to get that three yards. Yeah, they, they got several good running backs back there. So... Quarterback goes back under center again, three running backs behind him, takes the snap, pitches it, but runs across the left side of the line. He puts his shoulder down, but again, a uh, good tackle that time. Is that number three, I believe, Macau, I mean, uh, Christian Elam on the tackle. Good low end of the shoulder uh, for Christian Elam there. Uh, as the running back thought he was just going to plow through him, and they bring him down. Uh, it's going to be a pickup of about four on the play. It's going to make it third down and a long two, short three. Ball is on the 48 yard line. They're going to say third and three. Need to get them off the field right here. Quarterback goes under center. Takes the snap. Uh, hands it off to his running back. Big hole over the left side. He's still running. And he's finally brought down by Samaj Jenkins all the way down at the 25-yard line. That was a big hole for that big running back, number two, to run through. And he ran through one tackle. 48 to 25. And a little bit of a... Um, a little bit of a tussle after the play. Well, Samaj was trying to get up. I think his leg slipped, and he kind of kneed the guy in the helmet, but no flag. Referees were right there. They knew he didn't mean to do it on purpose. But ball at the 25, first and 10, 10-25, left to go in the third, 6-3, Bryan County, and they're moving. So Bryan County moving the ball pretty quickly here to start the second half. <clears throat> Quarterback goes, goes under center, takes the snap, has it off to his second running back. He's running across that right side, not really anywhere to go wrapped up by a host of Red Devils. He is still fighting, trying to drag forward. I think they might give him a couple yards on the carry. Uh, he's going to get up to about the 22-yard line, second down, eight to go. And that's one thing I've seen too, John, is they don't go down at first contact. Nah, they're fighting hard they're every yard. Up. Yeah, they're, they're fighting for every yard. It's the clock now at 9.44 left to go here in the third. Again, 6-3, Bryan County on top. And they're down to about the 23-yard line going against the Red Devils. Their top running backs on the sideline over here, their main runner. He's not in the game. Quarterback goes under center, nobody out wide. Takes the snap, heads it off again. That second running back, good tackle that time. Wrapped up uh, right about the line of scrimmage, trying to get a number for you. guys. number 13, Christian Kreit. Again, no doubt his name, Andrew Beard. Both of those guys all night long been making big tackles. That was a big tackle. It was a pickup of about two on the play. It's going to make it third and five. Ball on the 20-yard line. Number 74 checks into the game. Four, four down territory for sure. Quarterback goes under center, takes the snap. 
hands it off to that big, fast running back. Let's see if we can hold him, but I don't think we did. I think he fought for it. He did. He got about two yards more than he needed. I think they're going to give him about five on the carry, maybe six. He's inside the 15-yard line, down to the 12-yard line, first and 10 for Brian Kelly. I tell you, that running back number two, I don't, we don't have their roster, but I got to just give him some props, man. He's having a good game tonight. He's running hard. He's fast. He's big. Uh, looks like a great running back. So quarterback goes under center, takes a snap. They'll hand it off to big number two again. And again, I mean, he just runs through arm tackles. He runs through about two or three players up front, and he gets about five on the play. Let's see, maybe, yeah, right about five. He's inside the 10-yard line on the nine. He's just running right up the middle most of the time. Uh, about as far out wide as he gets is the guard. He doesn't really break anything outside the tackles at all. Everything's just up the middle. He's big. He's fast. So second down, five to go. Quarterback hands it off again to number two, big running back. He gets inside the five-yard line. He was touched in the backfield. I think that was number 57, Jeremiah Wynn, that touched him in the backfield, but he ran through it. And it's going to be third and half a yard. Um about the four and a half yard line. And they are just pushing us back at will. Yeah, this is this is just what you call power football. I mean, there ain't nothing about it. It ain't fancy, not using speed, just power football. Quarterback goes under center, takes a snap. Hands it off again to number two. This is his third carry in a row. And they're going to say touchdown. Ryan County. Ryan County gets a touchdown, make it 12 to 3. Indians on top, 7-19 left to go here in the third. 12 to 3, the Indians are looking to scout. So Ryan County is going to. Looks like Bryan County's going to go for two. So they line up under center. Quarterback takes the snap, has it off to guess who, big number two. And he falls in for two points. He barely crosses that line, but he does cross it. That makes it 14-3, to Bryan County on top of the Lincoln County Red Devils here. In the third quarter, seven minutes and 19 seconds left to go in the ball game. I mean, in the third quarter. So we're going to take a pause and go back to the station. 98.7 FM, Lincoln, Lincoln County Broadcast Network. I was afraid he was going to go to that. When he gets to me, comes back to you, I'm going to read it. And, and then you take it and say, welcome back. And then we'll do it again in a little while. CD Tire, Lincolnton's only one-stop auto shop, proudly serving the CSRA for 29 years. We are a full automotive shop offering alignments, brakes, oil changes, tires, and 24-hour emergency road services. A member of TechNet, offering a three-year, 36,000-mile nationwide warranty, open Mondays through Fridays, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., Call 706-359-6924 to schedule an appointment. That's CD Tire, more than just a tire store. And welcome back, Radio fans, as Bryan County kicks off, and here comes Tomas Jenkins. There he goes. He's got a head of speed. He's still on his feet. And he's going to be taken down at the 45-yard line. Big run there by Samaj Jenkins as he took the ball about the five-yard line. Big kickoff. They got a great kicker. Big, this, guy yes. can, this guy can kick it. Big kickoff by Brian County, and Samaj returns it all the way to the 45 as we're going towards Lillian Sims. First and 10, Lincoln County. Ball on the 45. 7-11 left to go here in the third quarter. Again, we're down 14-3 to on a home opener here in Lincoln. And they sure did look like they were, he, he could have taken that one back. He busted through the seam, and they barely shoe tackled him. Here comes Wade under center. Got a man in motion. He's going to hand it off again, number three. 
Christian Elam. Oh, they all made a fumble. fumble. A fumble on the play by the Red Devils. He's going down over there. All right, let's see. He's going down. He's going down. Second down. So they're going to call him down by contact. Picks up two yards. Going to bring up second and eight for the Red Devils. I couldn't see the referee on the I far either. And I didn't, you couldn't really see the play with so many players around him. So second and eight, 631 left to go here in the third. Again, we're down 14 to three. Lincoln County under center. Going to hand it off again. Here comes Zeal. Nope, Makai keeps it. Makai keeps it this time. There you go. Good fake there by Makai Wade as he gets in to Indian Territory. First and 10, Lincoln County. Ball all the way down. Looks to be around the 36, 37 yard line. First and 10, Lincoln County. I started saying in the opening game last year, late against McCormick, Makai is a special player. He is, I mean, he is magical. Um, he's only a sophomore. I mean, we don't remember that sometimes. When he keeps the ball in his hands, his elusiveness is just, it's ridiculous. So first and 10, ball on 37, Makai Wade under center. Go hand off this time to Elam, and he gets taken down behind the line. Gonna be about a loss of two. Gonna bring up second and 12 for the Red Devils. Another one of our backs that we haven't called his name much tonight that has some fresh legs, maybe see it was Kelby Glaze. We haven't seen Kelby carry the ball much tonight. Opening series. Yeah, opening series was, uh, I think was his only carry, if, if I'm not mistaken. So, so 5.30 left to go here in the third. Again, down 14-3. to three. Lincoln County second and 12. Tight set by the Red Devils. Makai's going to keep it again. He's running down through the side, through the right side. May have gotten back to a little bit of line of scrimmage, the original line of scrimmage, a little bit more. Going to bring up third and about eight. So it puts us in a hole, third and long, as the clock continues to go. Under five minutes left to go here in the third. We're going to call it third and eight. Play clock at 18 seconds. Red Devils break the huddle. Two wide receivers out to the left as we're going towards Lillian Sims. Quarterback under center. Got a man in motion. Here comes Kelby Glaze. And he stopped at the line and pushed back. Way back. Well, way there he is as he would have had full progress. Well, I think they're going to overturn it. I think they're going to have to mark it back because he made a football move in the back. I agree. Uh, we'll see what they, I don't know. They're still marking it up close, so it looks like, yeah, they are going to give him forward progress at least. So, so he's going to be fourth and still long, maybe a yard, fourth and seven. And they're going to mark him around the 34-yard line. 25 yards. Yeah, that's a 25 <laughs> yard difference and the, the sideline over here is furious about it. But this does change everything as far as what you can do. I, I think Lincoln County needs to go for it right here. We're going to take a timeout. So Lincoln County will, he's going to roll out. He's looking, he's got him a man down the middle. Oh, he hit him early for sure. <laughs> and it doesn't yeah. get called. He got hit early. Hit him early. Come over his back just a split second too soon, but they're not going to call it. And it's going to be turned over on downs. First and 10, Bryan County, ball on 34. That was a good throw by Makai. I mean, great throw. Put it right in there where it needed to be, but uh, there's no doubt Christian Cry was hit uh, early. Uh, probably would have made the catch had he not been bumped before the ball got there. So we're going to turn it over on downs. They're going to take the, they're going to take over at about the 34-yard line. Bryan County comes out in that tight formation. They've been running all night. Quarterback takes the snap, hands it off to the second running back. He's going to go across the right side. Did he fumble? Nope, I don't think he did. And it's going to be a pickup of about six on the play. They're going to get up to the 39-yard line. Actually, they're going to say five yards on the game. So second and five.
you to stop here big time. Three minutes, two seconds left to go. Clock is running. Aiken County down 14 to 3. Quarterback takes the snap, hands it off again. Second running back up through there. Good penetration that time by Lynn. Oh, and he gets through somehow. I don't know how, but big hit. Who made the big hit that time? Samaj Jenkins. That's Samaj. Big hit by Samaj Jenkins. Uh, it really caught me off guard because I thought we had him wrapped up in the backfield, and I saw him sneak through there and then get hit late. Um, but it's a pickup of three. They got to get them off the field here. It's third down and short. We've got to get some penetration in that backfield to stop this running game. They're killing us just just power football is all you can say. Three running backs stacked back there. They're just taking turns. Quarterback goes over center. A ball on the 43-yard line. Takes a snap. Hands it off to that big running back who we just cannot stop tonight. I mean, he's still fighting. We still can't get him down. And he's going to pick up about four on the play. And it's going to be a first and ten for Bryan County. Clock now down to two minutes. Clock has stopped to move the chains. Two minutes to go in the third quarter. Lincoln County down 14 to three. Starting to run out of time here. we got to get a stop. We can't let him get points on this drive. That big running back for Bryan County has had such a good night. He's gassed right now. You can see it. He's exhausted. He's been the workhorse all night. Quarterback goes under center, first and 10, takes the snap, heads it off to his running back right across the guard. And again, we wrap him up at the line of scrimmage, and he's still fighting. And number seven, Aiden Deutschel, the first one I saw was that. Maybe, yeah, I think that was Aiden. Maybe it was uh, Christian Elam first to make contact, one of those two. Bring him down after a pickup of one. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. Same formation all night. Really about the same five plays all night. They ain't run many. Quarterback going to toss it out left. And we bust through there. Christian Kreit, again, hit, hit him behind the line of scrimmage. Brings him down for a loss of one. Great play. Christian Kreit read it all the way. Busted through the line and ran him down behind the line of scrimmage. It's going to be, actually, they're going to say loss of two, and it's going to be third and 11. This is a good down and distance for Lincoln County's defense tonight because for the most part, Bryan County has not had big rushes. It's been a lot of five and six yarders. They've had a couple of long ones. So here we go. One wide out left this time. Quarterback goes under center. Only two backs by him. He does. He goes back to pass, and we get back there, and he's sacked. Who was that? Number six that time, CJ, I mean, RJ Kreit. Great tackle. Uh, sack. I think the only sack of the ball game, well, maybe Makai one time. But, uh, the quarterback's down. Looks like it may be a double. And number zero, Beard. He's going to move up. They're going to bring pressure to the punter. Samaj is back there around the 30. High oh, snap. He's we got a break. High there snap. We, go. Go. we finally got a break tonight. High snap. A big loss. Ball is going to be down around the 12 yard line. They're going to mark it at the 15. 15. I don't know why. The punter is down. Off that high snap, he may have pulled something jumping up for the ball. But it'll be first and 10, Lincoln County, ball on the 15. And this is what we've been waiting for. We've got the fumble, now we got this, we got a score. So the point is down, so we're going to take a pause and come back to you. 98.7 of them, Lincoln County Broadcast Network. We're going to run it out the backfield, okay. number three, and he's still going there. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Touchdown, Lincoln County, first of the year. They got a flag on the play. It's going to be after the touchdown. I don't know what the. It didn't look like they really did anything much more than a regular celebration to me. Somebody must have done something. There is a, I mean, they did get excited, but it's our first touchdown of the night. <laughs> There's a flag on the play. It came way after the play was gone. It's touchdown, Kelby Glaze. As John said before, the freshest legs on the field, probably. And he strikes, but they take the touchdown off. What is what's what? What are they doing? Holding. 
Touchdown. Personal foul against the Red Devils, so the touchdown does count. They will, I don't know if they're going to mark it off here or mark it off at the kickoff. I think they will be assessed on they, the kickoff. They get to make that choice. So yeah. Bryan County decides to get an assist on the kickoff. So it is 9-14-9. Finally, Lincoln County gets to the promised land. First time tonight, first one of the season. Kelby Glaze with a beautiful about 15-yard touchdown run. So 11.48 left to go here in the fourth. 14-9, Bryan County on top. As we're going to be kicking an extra point towards the gym. And here comes number 33, Forts and Partridge. No, they're going to go for it. Lincoln County is going to go for it. Go for two. I agree. I mean, the extra point doesn't really help you. Quarterback goes back. He's looking. Did he? He yeah, yeah, threw him. him. Yeah. He had him. He, he did have him. That was his. That was his first throw all night. That wasn't on the money. I mean, his first one. And he took a shot there at the end. Yeah. Again, pressure was all over him. I like the play call slant pattern to Christian Kreit. Uh, definitely a great play call that time. So I get that two-point conversion. So the penalty is going to be assessed on the kickoff. So good touchdown there, man. Finally, finally we find the promised land with Kelby Glaze. And it gives us a little, a little light in. But at what point do you stack the box and just say, we're not worried about the pass, we're just going straight for the run? Yeah. Because I, I think they're in that spot now. I, th I think with 11.48, Brian County's going to come out and run the ball. So good kickoff, high kick by Forrest and Partridge. Ball taken at the 28. He's going to get out to the, oh, he's going to get out to the 50. Good return there by Brian County. First and 10, ball on the 50. As Brian County almost starts in Red Devil territory after the short kickoff with the penalty. And it bites us as they get there at midfield. With 11.47 left to go here in the fourth. 14-9, Bryan County on top. And they're wasting no time as they run up to the line of scrimmage and they're getting ready to snap it. So Bryan County goes under center, nobody out wide. Quarterback takes the snap, hands it off to big number two. And you can tell he's gas now, but he's still got a good game that time. He's going to gain five on the carry as he pushes forward up through the middle of that defense, but you can tell he's gassed. He is not the same running back right now as he has been. We need to take advantage of this. So second down, five to go. Yeah, same play all night. Just a, a dive play right up the gut. I mean, all night long is all it is, led by a blocker, uh, running back blocker. Quarterback takes that. That same play, there it is again. This time they open up a bigger hole. Uh, but we bring him down. He's going to be right at the first down marker. Depends on the spot. I think they're going to give it to him by about a half a yard, and they do. It's going to be first down and ten. But he got he gets up slowly. Um, I think number two is just done for the night. Honestly, you can tell the last two times he ran the ball, he's he he's got nothing left to give tonight. So ball's on the 39, 11, 10 left to go here in the fourth. Again, 14-9. Bryan County on top, and they're taking their time. So quarterback goes under center. Nobody out wide. Those three running backs behind him lined up. Quarterback takes the snap. Dive play. He breaks through the gap, and we miss a couple tackles, and he's still fighting for it. He gets all the way inside the 25-yard line down to about the 24. And I, don't, I don't think you let them go no further than right here. You've got to stop them in this. And they're cramping up. They're starting to cramp up. You've got to stick them right here. I mean, you cannot let them get any further. I mean, I know they're kicking game field. Now we're back out on the field ready to go. So Brian County goes under center, takes the snap, hands it off, same play over and over and over and over again. And they're going to pick up about two that time. It's going to be second down and eight ball on the 21-yard line. 
I mean, this is almost watching this offense is just almost boring at this point. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I don't blame the coaches for keep doing it because it's working, but man, it's the same play over and over and over. If they, get, if they get any points in this possession, you're pretty much. But as they say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's getting what they need. So, quarterback takes a snap, hands it off to his running back again. He falls forward. He's going to fall right about the line of the game. Let's see if he's going to get a first down. I think they're going to say third and one. So, here we go, third and one. But we need to get in the backfield to stop this one. Crowd line. Yeah, you 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 got to plug in every hole you can plug in. Take your fingers and your toes and plug a hole. You just can't let them get. I mean, they're just they're right now. They're just, but I think one of the things they might be scared of is if they get through that first line. If everybody's too close, he's going to be gone because we ain't stopping him when we touch him. Quarterback takes the takes the snap, hands it off, same play. There you go. He misses him and he's getting around the edge and he's still going. And a saving tackle that time, was that Andrew Beard or was that Samaj? I think it might have been Samaj back there. Um, he brings him down. He's inside. He's the inside the 10 at the 5. He's around the 6, 5 and a half. But it's first and goal, Bryan County, 9.06 left to go. And I can tell you, if they get it here, we can kiss it goodbye. It really looked like he was going to score on that one. Good tackle by Samaj. It looked like he was breaking out left. Trying to get out wide, Samaj able to run him down again. He's just, he's kind of gassed. I don't think he has much speed left in him. He well, does. I, think, I think we're gassed on the defense line. You can't take this all night long and running into you. Quarterback goes under center, takes the snap. Same play, runs right up the middle, and he's going to be stopped at the one yard line. So, second and goal from the one. Second down, one to go. 8.15, clock is running. Lincoln County down, 14 to nine. They're taking their time, play clock yeah. down under 10 seconds now. Quarterback goes under center. Nobody out wide, takes the snap. Oh, uh, looks like a broken play, and the quarterback keeps it. There's a flag on the play, and I think we stop him. We do. We stop him, and our players are trying to wave that it's our ball. I don't know if he fumbled the ball, but there's a flag on the play. There's a flag, 20 yards. The quarterback turned around to look to hand off, and there was nobody there, so we had to keep it. Turned around, tried to make something out of it. Trying to see what the call is. We're looking Lincoln, like we had a fumble. Yeah, Lincoln County acted like face mask. Uh, against oh, us. Against us. Automatic first down. Automatic first down. <laughs> That's a killer right there. You give him four shots to get one. Wait a minute now. He waved something towards us too, didn't he? he I mean, he waved something against Brian Carey, I believe. Was it an offsetting penalty? Still showing two uh, down still the still showing line. second down down there. Yeah. I'd call it one and a half. 7.39 left to go here in the fourth. 14-9, Bryan County on top. But they're knocking at the door. Defense kind of stands strong. Going to center. They're going to do a quarterback sneak this time. And it depends on if they're going to save touchdown. touchdown. So Bryan County scores on a two-yard run, 7-22, left to go here in the fourth quarter. We're down 20-9 to Bryan County. And they're going for two. And they're going for two. Seven twenty-two left to go. Bryan County just went up twenty to nine on the Red Devils. So 
So they're going to go for two, it looks like. Quarterback breaks the huddle. Same formation. Nobody out wide. Quarterback goes under center. Takes the snap. Hands it off to big number two. He's in there. And he is in there. Two-point conversion. So that's going to make it a 13-point difference with seven minutes and 22 seconds left to go in the ball game. Sherrard Freeman may have got us again. That's the same, of course. He did it once with Warren, Warren County when he was at Warren County, and he may do it to, to us with Bryan County. Ball's teed up. And here we go. Good kickoff. He can, he can kick it. All right. Here comes Lincoln County, number 10. He's holding the ball. He's the ball. He's going to hold the ball. Who is that, number 10? Jonathan Norman. That's a, that's a name that I don't think we've called uh, to Nashman. Jonathan Norman, number 10. And we've got two Bryan County players down. Good return there by Jonathan Norman as he takes it down to around the 26-yard line. So first and 10, Lincoln County, ball on the 26. Again, 7-13, left to go here in the fourth. 22 to nine, Brian Kelly on top. So Lincoln County, one wide receiver out to the right. Quarterback under center. Gonna fake the pitch. He's gonna throw it. He's got it. He's wide open. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Big play there. Number one, Justin Simmons. Big pass by the highway. Perfect throw. Caught it in stride. Perfect throw. Touchdown, Lincoln County. Watch out. 7 3. Left to go here in the fourth. Lincoln County down just 22 to 15 as we strike in five seconds. Great play. We I like the that. play call. He, he faked that pitch, pulled him in, left him wide open, and I'm telling you, Makai could have underthrew it and still scored, but he threw it in stride, perfect throw, and nobody was catching Justin Simmons. So Lincoln County comes out, looks like Forts and Partridge for the extra point. We're kicking towards again. Big play there. Beautiful pass by Makai Wade. Just kind of glided in the sky. And he hit Simmons in stride. Ball is high. Hold is good. Kick is up. Almost over, over the gym. Right. Extra point is good. 22 to 16. Lincoln County still down, but not out of it. 7.03 left to go here in the fourth. We're going to take a pause and come back to you. 98.7 FM, Lincoln County Broadcast Network. We go here in the fourth. Maybe looking for an onside kick. Maybe not. Maybe two no, feet for that. Kick it deep. Yeah, you got seven minutes left. You got plenty of time. May not get the ball, but we got to stop them. <laughs> but I still think they're going to kick it deep. No, nope. it's on that. I think he touched it early. I don't know. We definitely recovered it. It depends on if they say we touched it. It looked like we touched it early. It went 10 yards. No, I don't think it did go 10 yards. I don't think yards, they're sure if we touched it or not. But I don't That's think they're sure that we touched it. I don't think they're sure, though. Well, it went to the 50-yard line when we kick off them. Did I call something? They just called their ball. Yeah, they called their ball. We touched it before the 50. We just recovered it at the 50. He touched it about two yards early, I believe, and that's going to give them the ball. Man, oh, they should have kicked the ball. It's the question thing. What, what do you say? Do you say you should have not done it? You should well, have. Like you got it. Yeah, I, mean, I don't mind the call at all. I mean, you know. I think you still. I think if you can. I think if you can hold them, but you still hold hold yeah. them here, you're good. One thing I think they showed us early in the game is they were a field goal kicker. So yeah, right. you know we ain't worried about no field goal. I mean they got to score a touchdown. We chopped. But we chopped the field in half. Yeah, we did. So here's 
Bryan County goes under center, takes the snap. Oh, 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 oh play. Fumble. Man. Big hit by number six, R.J. Crite in the backfield. Quarterback slow to get up. Lincoln County played the box perfectly that time. They shot the gap. They hit the quarterback with the, when he was handing the ball off. And, I mean, they got a Christmas gift here because it bounced back in the arms just so pretty off, off the green. And now we got a flag on the play. What is this? Well, the clock's not running for one thing. Why? Um, Why did you get the flag? Way back I, I, I think they threw the flag to stop play so they could get the clock running. Um, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, they were just trying to get everybody's attention mm. so that way they can get that clock running. But the rest of the flag acts like something's wrong. Yeah, he said, yeah, they got something to say right by that time. I think he's talking about a sideline infraction. What is that? I think they said a legal substitution. I think that's what he signaled. I don't understand that, but the play legal substitution with one hand on the head. He put both hands on the head. What does that signal? He put both hands on his head. Maybe we had two illegal substitutions. Maybe you have to do that. Well, the clock was stopped. Why would it matter? Ten yards? Fifteen yards. Fifteen? What? Yeah, they must have caused some kind of personal foul or something. I don't know. I, I, I don't know what the signal was, but I do know the clock was supposed to run, and it was not running. So never mind what was a great opening play now. It's first and 10 from the 37-yard line. Quarterback takes the snap. Good penetration again, but again, we can't bring him down in the backfield. We got, we got guys in the backfield almost every play. We just can't bring that big running back down. And he's going to pick up about four on the carry. Yeah, I think you. I think the way they're running this defense is the way you got to continue to run. You got to, you got to take a chance to get it behind the line. I think we've been doing it all night. We've been behind the line. We just can't bring him down. He's been running through tackle. The last two plays, you've had more penetration than you've had all night. I think when you go back and watch the film, we've been in the backfield. We just ain't been able to tackle him. It's quarterback under center. Takes the snap, hands it off to his running back. And again, just not big play, but just getting five yards of carry. He's going to get up into that secondary part of our defense up to the 27-yard line, make it third down and one. Clock running, we're down at six minutes now. It's a six-point ball game. Lincoln County down 22 to 16 here against Bryan County. And then I, I'm telling you, they're gonna milk this for all it's worth. Clock at play clock at 25. I expect they're not gonna break the huddle to it. Well, they surprised me there. They're not playing it slow. They're breaking the huddle at 18 seconds. Well, they're gonna get a first down. Get the formation. Quarterback goes under center. Takes the snap. Hands it off, and across the right side, and first down, he's going to get up to the 17-yard line, I believe. And that's going to be first and 10, I'm sorry, not the 17, the 22-yard line. Yep, down to five minutes, 30 seconds left. We have two timeouts. Whatever that penalty was, that 15-yarder was a killer. Yeah, I, I don't know what they said. The guy put two hands on his head like this. I don't know what that signal is. So here we go, first and 10, quarterback goes under center. Licking County trying to fight their way back into this one. Quarterback takes the snap. And we all ready to go to field. Big tackle for loss that time. Was that big Trey Turner? We have not yeah. called his name much tonight. All right, be careful, Trey. Don't celebrate too much. 57 and 55. And number 57, uh, helping him out, Jeremiah Will. We've called his name a couple times tonight. They're going to say no gain on the play. That helps us there with no gain. Yeah, we do like you, got, you, got to say, you got to say this four down territory. So they got, oh, for sure. they got three more downs to make up 10 yards. Yep. But we'll start using timeouts after this play, I would imagine. But they took a timeout. They took a timeout. Yeah. And they do. Got a good, good thing going here on this series. Let's see. Started out with a tackle for no game. 
quarterback takes the snap, goes back to pass. He's looking he's deep. Wide. He's <laughs> got a man wide open. It's touchdown. Well, wow. you had the good play. play call. Yeah, good play call. Yeah, good play call. You, you had, had to play. play. You had to play the run. I mean, you had to. Yeah. That, was great coaching that. That, that was a good play call because all night, I'm telling y'all, he has rocked us to sleep all night long. And to bust that one open right there, that was the perfect time. And that timeout makes total sense to me now. Because <laughs> at first I was thinking, what is he doing? Um, but, um, again, we're not out of this thing. Four minutes, 14 seconds left to go. We're down 12, but we get the ball here, the onside kick after we score. I mean, it is. So you're telling me there's a chance. <laughs> you're telling me there's a chance. So here we go. Number number one for two. two. To try and make it a 14-point game. Quarterback goes under center, hands it off to big number two. Hey, tackle behind the line of scrimmage. And it's going to be a 14-point ball game. I mean, a 12-point ball game. So we're 14. Well, Ernie, <laughs> could you look up the definition of illegal participation, please? Could you? T so Brian <laughs> County gets ready to kick off as the Red Devils get Samaj Jenkins and some more. I think Kelly Glaze is back there along with the Red Devils. Low line kickoff. Going to be, oh, oh, oh my goodness. Jump on the ball. Jump on the ball. Oh, he almost didn't fall. I don't think he fell on it. I think well, he fell on it after. Yeah, but I think he got yeah, taken away from We got yeah. it. Okay. That was a good number. That was five. Dollars. Frank Kane comes up with it. So four nine left to go. We almost had a bad turn of events there, worse than what's already taking place. Ball is going to be placed on the 26 yard line, 27 yard line. First to 10, Lincoln County. 12 or more players on the field. Four oh nine left, to, and that's a 15 yard penalty. Good. What well, was the penalty for? 12 men. Oh, kept playing with helmet off. There you go. Um, and so that may, that is a 15 yard. Thank you. I think John Welch just sent me that. Yeah. Thank you, John Welch, because that is, that is a 15 yard penalty. I did not know the signal for that call, but I have seen that happen in college, not so much in high school. Lincoln County under center, the quarterback's going to roll back. He's looking to pass. Passes number one. Oh, Simmons, Justin Simmons still on his feet. He's moving. He's shaking, trying to make something happen. And makes a good play there. Stay, did he stay in bounds there or did he get out of bounds? The clock stopped. So it's probably going to be, he got five, maybe six yards, seven yards. Going to be second and three. Good play there by Justin Simmons. He must not have got out of bounds. Clock is running at four minutes. So 28-16, time is of the essence. Lincoln County comes out, three wide receiver set, two to the right, one to the left. Here comes Wade. He's looking around. He's trying to find his way. Quarterback keeper, he's down to the 36-yard line. First down, but not way in first down. It depends on the spot. Nope. Nope. Going to be third down. Hurry. Clock is paused just for a second. Who called timeout? Kyle Wade's going to take it. He's going to be short. No, he got it. So first and ten, Lincoln County. Ball's going to, I mean, clock's going to start running. 3.35. So I'm getting a lot of the <laughs> people sending me the charts of the calls. Um, so clock's. Ball's down, clock is running. Still under center, three wide receivers. Gets out, finds a lane. Here comes Beard. Beard. The yep. freshman catches the ball, and he's going to be close, close to a first down. Did not get out of bounds. Nope. Clock is running, 313. You got to air one out here. Second and short. Wide receivers out to the right, going towards the gym. Quarterback under center. And while we're running the ball, trying to get that first down, we're gonna stop the clock for a second. Um, get a set. I think we got it right there. Clock stops at 2:47. I still say you air it out there. You're second and short. Yes. 
It is a good down to air it out for sure. Ball's placed on the 49 yard line, first and 10, 245 left to go. Down 28 to 16. Quarterback under center, three wide receivers, two to the left, one to the right. Quarterback's rolling out. Ooh, and he's yeah, gonna it down. I think he intercepted it. Did you catch it? Yeah, I think he did. And that was number two, that good running back. And he did it. Two thirty-two left to go. And Brian County intercepts it. Yeah, that was uh and that's going to be I think he batted it and intercepted it. There were three players there, but I think two batted it in the air and caught the interception. We got one timeout left in our pocket. Two interceptions on the night. <laughs> <laughs> and Brian County takes over uh, on the interception. Uh, batted pass. Uh, Tried to throw a little screen pass to the left side and batted it straight up in the air and it came down with it. Same player, number two, that running back that had such a big night. So Brian County goes under center, takes the snap, go hand it off to his fullback, and he's fighting forward, fighting forward. They're dragging him backwards. And it's going to be a pickup of probably, I'm going to say, about three or four, through four yards, we'll say. Second down, six to go. Same play. Same play. I got a feeling that's the only play we're going to yeah, see the rest of this night. Right. 156 and counting on the clock. I wish I had a statistical breakdown <laughs> of how many times they ran that play tonight because I'm going to tell you, it has to be, I'm going to say in the 70 percentile. Second half is probably closer to 80 <laughs> yeah. to 85 percent. Yeah, it's, it's been a lot of the same, same thing. So quarterback goes under center, takes the snap. Hands it off. There's the second time they run it on this drive. And he's still fighting, still fighting. And they bring him down after that pickup. Depends on where they mark it. There's a little bit of scratchiness going on out there right now. A little chippy. 111 on the clock. They didn't say three yards on the pickup. That's going to make it third down and two. I tell you, there's an injury on the field. So, um, I mean, I, I'm, I still think, I like a lot of the play calling tonight uh, for the most part. I think that um, it was, uh, we, we did a lot tonight. We did. There was a lot of looks, a lot of different things. I don't think Samaj got the ball as much as everybody anticipated. Third down and two and a half. Brian County goes under center. Same play again. There it is. This time we might have stopped him. Yeah. Number three, uh, Christian Elam, and number nine, Walker Thornton. I'll tell you, number nine is a sophomore, Walker Thornton. He's another one I think the coaches are really excited about as a real young player. Um, I think he's got a, he's played a lot of snaps on both sides of the ball tonight. Um, and that's going to be fourth down and two. They're going to give him a half a yard. There's 47 seconds left to go in the ball game. Lincoln County down 28-16. I think Lincoln County may have just taken the time out. 28-16 to Bryan County here at Larry Campbell Stadium. And Lincoln County, uh, uh, fourth and two. Bryan County going to come out and go for it. Takes the snap. They're going to pitch it to the right. And they're going to have it by about two yards. So if it's going to be first and ten, that's going to be uh, all that needs to happen. Uh, they, don't even have to, they don't even have to make a play here, it looks like. Well, I guess right, they're going to have nine. Nine. So, yeah. yeah, they'll have to snap it one more time. Take a knee, get the bus, and you can see the excitement on this side of the, the field again. Uh, if, if nobody else does, Sherrard knows how big a win this is for sure. Yeah, he's uh, high-fiving he's, people. He's loving there. it. Yeah. Brian County goes under center, takes a snap, bounds it. And it's going to be the last snap of the ball game unless Lincoln County decides to take another timeout, which I don't think they will. It's going to be it. They come in here with a great game plan, like I said. And they are, they are a very athletic team. They're big. They're... they're yeah, and they know. I'm not saying they're all world, but I, oh, no. my eyes tell me this is a good ball team. They know what they're good at, yeah. and they, they utilize yeah. it. That's right. Yeah, they just they they've got some big strong athletes, and um, yeah, great great game plan. 
There ain't no doubt he's a coach. He's a good coach. I mean, yeah. He's coming oh, here he twice. out of war. He's coming he's here he's twice. Sure he's proved he's a yeah. good coach, yeah. no doubt. And so with that, your final tonight, 28 to 16, Bryan County on top of Lincoln County here at Larry Campbell Stadium. And we're going to turn it over to Benton Melanger and let him give the stop. We'll, we'll do it. We'll go through the scoring. No scoring in the first quarter.